Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be on the new Hourglass palette, the pink one. This one is the Ambient Edit Volume 4 palette and it has six shades in here just like the other one that they just came out with two weeks ago or three weeks ago, around somewhere around there. And this one is the Unlocked palette. So I'm also going to be showing you the swatches because they each have some blushes, the finishing powders, a highlight, and a bronzer in there. So I'm going to get straight into the video. So the new one is the pink packaging, which I'm like, why did I have to put a pink one? It's like, it makes you want to get the other palette too if you already have one. So this one comes with these six shades right here and you get two setting powders. Those are the first ones. I mean, two finishing powders. I keep calling them setting powders. So the first one is a dim light and then the other one is a diffused light. And the third one is the strobe powder. And then you have a bronzer, which is called a bronze light or filtered bronze light. The blush, the luminous glow, and then the strobe blush, which I'm guessing has more of a shimmer to it. But that last one is a plum tone and then the other one is a pink tone. So for this look, I used a bronzer in here and I applied it after I applied my contouring shade. And on me, it does look kind of warm, but it is a cool tone bronzer or more of a cool tone bronzer and then for this look i used the purple blush and it is one of the marble blushes but this one has quite a bit of a shimmer to it it does look really nice though i was happy with the way that it turned out and it was a good combination with the eye look that i was wearing this day and then i also used both of the finishing powders first i used a light one but i did feel like it was just a tiny bit too light for me for my under eye area and so i went ahead and i mixed them because i think the combination of both of these are good um just because if i use this one alone which is more of a pink shade it looks a little bit too pink just with my undertones it just doesn't work so whenever i mix them it was much better and then i also use the highlight and it's not very intense but this one is not meant to be like super super glowy i did build it up though and i did see a nice little glow there um but it's more like a natural type of glow but either way i do feel like i see it a bit so it's not like really really light really really natural no you can see just a tiny bit of a glow and then today i used the palette again and i used the other blush that i hadn't used of course the other shades i had already used them so i did apply the bronzer again and like i said it looks nice and warm on me i liked it and then for blush i used the pink one and today i'm wearing like pink and i'm wearing the Too faced little peach palette the mini one so i went ahead and i paired it up with the pink blush and then i also used the finishing powders i mixed them together because like i said i just like the way that that looks a lot better on me and then i went ahead and i used the highlighter today on my highlighting areas which i used it on my cheeks and then i built it up I built it up on my nose because I do like it to be just a little bit more intense also on my cupid's bow just so it can show up a little bit more and then I also use this one on the inner corners and on the brow bone area to glow that up a little bit on my eyeshadow just to show you the other swatches from the new palette I mean this is also a new palette you guys it just came out a few weeks ago so yeah they just decided to surprise us with the second palette this year and these are all six shades the first two are finishing powders and then the bronzer which is is more of a warm tone bronzer i'll show you the comparison of both though and then the two blushes one is more of a pink blush and then the other one is more of like a mauvey blush and then lastly is a highlighter which this one does look really intense and that one whenever i used it the first time i was surprised because i wasn't expecting that from an hourglass palette just because most of theirs are like really like really light glow i was gonna say really glowy no really more like a light glow so if you already have the gold one i'm just gonna refer it as the gold one the pink one because i think that's a little bit easier than saying like the entire name it's too long so to compare the two i'm gonna go ahead and show you the swatches these are the finishing powders for the pink one and like i said one is more of like a pinky tone and the other one is more of a highlighting tone more of like a white yellowy maybe just a slight yellow but not really and those are the two finishing powders and then for the other one it's also more of like a pink one and then the lighter one is a bit too too dark for me um but it does make a good setting powder if you have a medium skin tone or a deep skin tone i think because they're not really 
translucent but they don't have that much color to them it's like right in between and it does give me some color so I also like to mix both of those for me for my skin tone or else I'm gonna look like I have like a little bit of shadow and then I could use this one alone if I wanted to but if I want to use this one I have to mix it with the other one so here are the bronzers so you can take a look at them this one is from the pink one and then the other one is from the gold palette which like I said is a lot warmer and it does look warmer on me too which I wouldn't like really a cool bronzer because I feel it would look too shadowy or too ashy and I would not like it to look like that so I'm glad that it does pull a little bit of warm to my a little bit of warmth to my skin. Then we have the blushes. These two are from the pink palettes, which are like the marbly ones. The first one is the pink one, and then the second one is the purple one. And then from the gold palette, it's the pinky one and then the mauve one. And then lastly are the highlighters, so it's really, really obvious. This one is the pink palette, and that is the first swatch. And then the second one, you can tell right away that it is more of a glowy highlighter. That's the one from the gold palette. So that is both of them. It would be on you whether you like the shades of one or the other. I don't think you need both of them unless you really like Hourglass and you just want to have all of the collection or, you know, from the previous years. And these, I these are my only two that I have. So I do like them both, but my favorite one out of the two is the gold one I feel like I like the bronzer better it just looks nice and warm and I like it I also like the other one but I just feel like I like the other one better I also love the highlighter in the gold palette it is just more intense it looks nicer not everybody likes that but if I'm gonna have an hourglass palette and I want some glow I want it to give me something you know so I prefer this one this highlight in this palette and then I'm also happy with both of the blushes like they both look really nice I do like these two I mean it's not to say that these are bad it's just you know it has more shimmer to it which I don't mind but I always apply highlighter so I don't need it in a blush so if you like both of the palettes of course go ahead you know it's all on you but they are $80 each which can make you think, you know, like, hey, maybe I don't need both, which you probably don't. I would say just get one. Just get the one that you think is going to work for you better. And if you you already have the gold one, I don't think you need the pink one. I think it's mainly like, okay, maybe the packaging and maybe the colors are a little bit different. But the I think with the gold one, you have enough. Like, you have plenty. It's really nice. The highlighter is really intense. It's really glowy. So I think you're getting you what it's worth if you already bought the gold one because that one did come out first i wasn't expecting for them to come out with another one much less a pink one so i thought that was really cute i wish the other one was pink too though like why didn't they make it purple or blue or like I don't know a teal color that would have been nice you know something a little bit different but yeah anyways it did it it's gold and whatever I honestly do like the products that are in there so I don't mind the outer packaging but it's really up to you whichever one you feel works best for you I'm just here to show you the swatches and show you the demo so you can take a look at them for yourself I hope it was helpful I hope it helped you decide whether you want both or you know just under one or the other and that is it for today thank you so much for watching I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.